transportation jobs of the future, those blue collar jobs, Roger, that we've known in the past can be green collar jobs uh, in the future. I strongly believe that alternative fuel economy needs to be changed, but I also know that we, we have to go from blue collar to green collar, which will help us bring jobs that were sent out back to us in the United States because, again, we have the highest technology and the best. We have very serious competing interests here. If the choices are being made only in one direction, where we do not have sufficient um, thought process as to how we're going to keep the economy flowing well, et cetera, doing well, where we are looking towards better and newer technologies that might produce new and different types of jobs, we're going to fail. And so to that extent, I'm concerned. I would much rather see us focusing on putting resources into appropriations that are going to go to research and development, uh, that are going to bring us new technologies where maybe this concept of the engine as we know it today will be a thing of the past. And we're moving towards technologies that are, are going to be far more uh, climate friendly. My really concern was the jobs that we would lose them, first of all. We have 100,000 Latinos. And again, as these jobs come in, the alternative way we're doing things, again, this will replace the jobs that we were going to lose so we can keep working in here as Latinos. Uh, but also recognizing that the approach has to be balanced uh, so as to not disadvantage, that point has been uh, used earlier, uh, as relates to the U.S. automotive industry uh, in the uh, whole arena of the international uh, automotive uh, competition. A job in the auto industry is a good job. A job in the auto industry is a job that's going to give you a certain amount of benefits, a certain amount of um, access to better salaries, better wages, etc. And if you're union, it's going to be even more so. It's going to double on some, certain levels. So we have to ensure that we keep as many of those jobs here in the United States. Well, we endorse HR 2927 because it's to give us a balance in, in where we want to go. And so again, it's not the, the aggressive way we were going, but we're asking that HR 29 be approved because again, this is a balance for all of us. Uh, and so we are arguing that you can be bold and visionary but be balanced as well uh, as you uh, bring forth the new energy legislation. What I really like about it is this whole concept of putting in resources for research and development and ensuring that we're moving in a different direction that's, that's you know, brave new world, bold new world, um, where we're, we're trying to, you know, grow jobs, increase jobs, but also look at the best and brightest things that we have to offer as, as a nation in terms of innovation and change and technology.